What's up gang? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Jordan Stupar and today I wanted to share a video with you that's, well, it's not quite as good as the live closing call that I posted a couple weeks ago where I did a live high ticket closing call that you can find up here. But this video is something that you can absolutely take some lessons from because it has to deal with your energy. At the end of the day, if you're in inside sales or outside sales, it doesn't really matter. You are going to want to bring a bit of energy, especially to the beginning portions of your phone call or your cold call or whatever it is that you're actually doing so that people can pay attention to you and you can sound like somebody worth talking to. I'm gonna show you some instructions on how I get my team to crank up some energy on the phones and I think it's packed with a couple of takeaways. So check it out and by the way, I apologize for the lighting. It was kind of just off the cuff, just like reality TV camera going around. So the lighting ends up sucking, but that doesn't mean that you can't take away a couple of lessons here. So without any further ado, here's the video. Yo, Dale. Yes, sir. Can you hold this camera? Yeah. Real quick. You want me to get up? Well, yeah, you're gonna follow me real quick. I'm gonna show these people a little thing or two. Just follow, you know what it is, you know what it is. I got my guy Julio over here. He's 18, he's from the Bronx. Young cat, got mad hustle, making two, three, 400 phone calls every single day, and not getting 100% of the results that he is entitled to getting, and there's a reason probably why. So I'm gonna go check it out, and we're gonna turn up the thermostat on his energy real quick. Follow me real quick. Julio! It's game on, bro. Let's get on the phones. I want you, uh, I want, can we stand the desk up? I want this blood flowing, dude. Get it. I want, how tall are you? Six, six feet. Six feet tall. So he's way taller than I am, or ever will be, unless I grow my hair out even taller. What's funny is whenever I make videos, I'm always wearing the Stupar Enterprises hoodie. It's that Friday. It's that Friday vibe, baby. So we got Julio, I want Mike and speakers. And I basically was just doing some role playing in the lobby after doing our afternoon training that he needs to sound like he just won a million bucks. On the first role play, he's like, hi Jordan, this is Julio. I was like, Julio, pretend like you just made a million bucks. And he's like, yo, this is Julio over here, Stu Parr's office. So let's get some energy. Don't be, don't be afraid about this other next door neighbor thing, dude. Let's get some sales. Let's go, let's go. Camera heavy as hell. The camera's heavy? That camera's not heavy, bro. What are you talking about? You trying to super zoom on me? <laughs> no. Let's get it, Julio. Big energy. Big money energy, bro. Like you just want a mill. Fam. Fam. Hello? Hey, good afternoon, fam. This Julio here calling from Stupar's office. How's everything? Oh, good, good. I'm sorry, from which office? From from Stupar's office, Jordan told me to give you a call. We're, we're touching base with people who bought those blue cards for objection handling. You remember, like a year ago? Oh, okay. Uh, yes, I do. You know what? I've been trying to to see where did I place those cards. Oh, you lost them. Oh, you, you lost them? <laughs> I lost them. Oh, my God. I haven't oh. had a chance to take a look. Did you, uh, you, you never got to use them? No, I never got to use them. Did you lose them in your Louis bag? Did, did, did you lose it in your Louis bag? Or your Benz? Oh, or your Benz. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry? Did, did you lose it in your Louis bag or left it in your Benz? <laughs> uh, <laughs> no, uh, I don't remember where I placed them. Um, it was in my mind, but I forgot to look for it. But um, okay, for you never able to find. So. Got it, and, and that's exactly why I gave you a call because when you first picked them up, you know, it was obviously for objections, so that problem didn't uh -huh. get solved. So when, when you first yeah. picked it up, was it for you, personal development, or was it for a team? Uh, for myself, for my team. Oh, Got you. Um, yeah. How many people? Lo love it. So how, how many people are on your team? Um, right now, what you five. Saying? Oh, actually, I'm... Waiting on this call and just, I just got them on the line right now. Can I give you a call back? Yeah, no problem, Dad. This, this is a good number to call me back, all right? Yeah. All right. Thank you. Bye. Hi. Hi. Yeah. Good. Pause that real quick. Um, create a task. Yep. Send it to me. 
I'm going to send her uh, five decks of insurance cards mm -hmm. and we'll include a note from you and be like, hey, I just bought these for you. Right. Now she's going to be indebted to you forever. So the Ooh. next time you call back, she's going to have to give you some time. And if she really is the biz owner, that's going to be a layup of a deal. You don't have to type it with all the capitals, dude. <laughs> like, it's just me, bro. Give the boss something to do over here. Do I put it for today? That's all right. Today, my man. Today. I'll get those all sent right. out. But you see there, what the point is, is that she lost the cards, never got to use them. Instead of like, you know, going down that route or whatever, it's like, where'd you lose them? In your mansion, your Louis bag, or the Benz? Gotta ha, get, ha, gotta ha, giggle, yep. ha, ha, ha. Yeah, okay, so that's what most people do. Obviously, you don't spend 60 bucks on a deck of cards and not drive a Benz, live in a mansion, or have a Louis bag. So I figured that would be the place where you would lose it. But your energy sounded good right up front, and then... What I would recommend is just maintaining that. Hey, I, to I totally get that you lost them. They're a small, tiny deck of cards, man. Jordan did that on purpose, so you kept on buying more. Ha, ha, ha. Whatever. Let's get on the next one. I know like you just won a million bucks. Julio. Matt, it's Julio here calling from Stupar's office. How's everything? I'm sorry, where are you from? From Stupar's office, Jordan has me touching base with people who bought those red objection handling cards you got about a year ago. You recall? <laughs> Yeah, man. Hey, bro. I appreciate the call. Now, uh, now's not a good time. Yeah, hey, I bet you that's one of the cards. You totally get it, man. You too busy driving a Bugatti. I hear it in the back. Yeah, man. Uh, I'll, I'll ask a fan because it's hot as hell in Arizona. But uh, hey, do me a favor. Uh, I'm interested to hear what you have to say. I'm uh, I lost my sales one sales guy I had, and the other one's out of lunch. So a million things going on. Uh, so happy to talk to you, but now it's just a terrible Tuesday time. Got it. So Tuesday or Wednesday works. Next week. You know what? Uh, yeah, yeah. Wednesday is better than Tuesday. Awesome, okay, man. I got, your, I got your number here, 262, and uh, we'll talk. Awesome, man. Morning or afternoon, real quick, Matt. Talk to me. Wednesday. Call me in the morning, brother. Awesome, Matt. Talk to you soon, right? I appreciate the call. Thank you. Bye now. Just by the okay. energy. That's just the energy. That's just the energy, bro. That's just the energy. And the one other thing is you got to the morning. I would say, dude, last question. I got 9 o'clock and I got 10 o'clock. Which one works best for you? Mm, okay. That's it. fine. But now just take that note. Uh, put in that, you know, he was uh, busy, just lost a sales guy, and um, has been a little bit busy or whatever. Interested in what you had to say? Just you don't not, got to spell any of that stuff, <laughs> dude. You're just scribbling some notes. It's dude. about it's because you can read that, you know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's and then I, a I task for for that, Tuesday Wednesday, or Wednesday, 10 a.m. 10 o'clock is fine, dude. Call him at 8 a.m. He'll be on the road. That's a business owner. He's definitely up at 8 o'clock in the morning. If he ain't, he's gonna be poor. That's for sure. What you can also do? SMS real quick. Put it in on Wednesday. You could do that. Hell mm -hmm. yeah, bro. And you're gonna send that at 9 a.m. That's like six this time. Dude, that's like sorcery, bro. Like literally now you got that scheduled. And then what I'd also do is I'd go email and I would just put like, so now you just scheduled two automated follow-ups. You're a bad camera guy, Dale. <laughs> I'm shaking. What do you think about this, Julio? Thinking about getting back on the phone. Hey. <laughs> All right, so you got the task for this guy. Yep. Uh, you got an email scheduled out for this guy. You're ready to go. Ready to go. Let's go. There's my lesson. Energy, man. It's energy, baby. Energy. That's like you is. just won what? A, a billion dollars. A billion dollars. A billion, man. A billion? Go. You know why? Because of these. Cash cards, baby. <laughs> yep. Let's, Let's go. go. On to the next. So as you can see, ladies and gentlemen, all you got to do sometimes is give a little bit of direction and get a little bit of energy. Sales go up, and that's the way that it should be. That's the way it ought to be. And that's the way it is over here at Stupar Enterprise, baby. We got to get that money. We got to get these clients because if we don't get these clients, then these clients can't get the money. That's what we help our clients do. So if you want more money, you work in sales, you have a business, you know exactly who to contact. There's our info.